All right. So for the stretch break today, it's going to be all done down on the ground. So if you have a soft surface or a mat, make sure you've got that ready and steady so we can go ahead and use that. It's going to be about 10 minutes. It's full body, but a lot more focus on the lower body. Nice quad hip flexor stretch. So that right leg's forward, kind of a modified low lunge. So keep that back knee down. Keep that knee right in line with your ankle. And then bring that hand right up to that knee and push your knee away and just hold that stretch there. Keep holding. Good, squeeze that inner thigh. Keep that right hand on that thigh and if it's okay, go ahead and take that arm up to the sky. Keep pressing on that knee. Now reach that arm over to your left. So we're reaching to the opposite side of that leg that's forward. Focus on your breathing, nice subtle inhale, exhale. Good, bring that arm that's up, keep it up straight and now open it out and kind of reach. So we stretch that upper back. We're still leaning, still applying pressure with that knee, but just opening up that chest, feel it in the back. Good, bring it back and bring it all the way down. Let's go ahead and switch legs. So left comes forward, hands up. Same form as everything, knees right over the ankle. Push that front knee away. Good, left arm up. Now stretch over that other way now. And just like we did earlier, now you're gonna reach over and open up that chest. So I'm not looking at you anymore. But feel that stretch in that upper back. Keep pushing that knee down. Good, bring your hands down. Let's go into pigeon now. So start in down dog. So tuck, curl those toes under, push that tailbone up to the sky. Feel that nice stretch. And we're gonna go into pigeon. So I need you to bring your right foot forward. Your hips are centered. You're not sinking right. Extend that left leg back. When you feel ready, you can slowly come down to those forearms. So I'm gonna try and straighten out that back leg as much as I can. If this feels too intense for you, a different option is just cross your right over your left, reach your arms up and then dive forward. You will still feel that stretch if pigeon is too difficult for you today or right now, okay? Nice breaths in and out. One more inhale and deep exhale. Push back into down dog for me. Stretching out the back of that leg. If you need to run it out a little bit, that's fine. But now let's switch. So the left leg comes in, that left knee to your left wrist, that ankle to the right wrist, center that body, center those hips. When you're ready, lower down. If you can get your chest all the way down to the ground, good for you. I'm not that flexible, so I'll be here with you, working on it with you. Again, that modification, if this isn't working for you, now your left is just gonna go over your right when you cross, arms up and reach, and you will still feel that great stretch. Focus on that breathing, just relax. Try not to tighten that jaw too much. One more deep inhale. And exhale, very good. All right, come sitting with me. Let's do some butterfly. Bottom those feet together. Let's loosen up those hips a little more. Holding onto those ankles, using those elbows, pushing those knees out. Keep pressing those legs down. If you want to slightly lean forward, you can. Otherwise, you can stay nice and tall and erect. Focusing on that breathing again. Don't hold your breath when you're stretching. Good. 
Good. Go ahead and gently release. Go ahead and lie on your back. We're going to stretch out our piriformis, a super tiny muscle that helps us kind of turn and move our hips. I want you to bring your right ankle up to your left knee. You're going to kind of thread the needle a little bit. Take that right hand through and pull your left leg. So your right ankle is applying pressure to your left knee and you are pushing and pulling against each other. So pushing that right ankle, but pulling your left knee in. Keep your right leg crossed where it is, but drop your left foot to the ground. Now try to drop that knee. So extend those arms out. Now lower that left knee to the ground. Keep your shoulders down, your ribs down, your arms are out. Trying to keep that left foot flat on the ground, but lower that left knee to the ground. Right leg still crossed over. Good, let's go ahead and switch legs now. So now we've got that left ankle on that right knee. Again, as you're pulling your right leg in, your left leg is kind of pushing against that knee. Little push pull. Don't forget your breath. So I'm going to say that countless times during stretch breaks. Good. Drop that right foot down. Keep the left crossed over. Arms out to the side. Now slowly lower that right leg. Keep your shoulders flat against the ground. If you can't go that far without your left shoulder coming up, then that's okay. Just stay where you're at. Good, go ahead and bring it back. Lie on your left side for me. Rest on your arm, your hand, whatever feels more comfortable. I'm gonna go all the way down here. Extend your legs out, but pull in that right leg. Stretch out that quad. Again, if you wanna lay all the way down on the arm, you can. I'm just propping myself up. Nice big inhale and exhale. Now tuck your knees, bring those hands stacked right here. Relax out on the ground and go ahead and open up that chest. Try to bring that right shoulder down and just breathe. Stay here. The top arm coming back. Now go over to your stomach. Your arms are gonna be back out at your side. We'll get the other side in a little bit. Take your right leg, and I want you to try to cross it over your left. Kind of like a little modified scorpion. So we're laying on our stomach, and I cross my right over my left. But try to keep your head and neck down on the ground. Relax your head and neck. You can feel this on the outside of your left thigh, your back, it's a nice subtle little twist. Good, bring it back, come on up. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna switch right back so you guys don't have to see my back side. All right, now we are pulling in that left. Again, you can relax all the way down or prop yourself up, but pull that heel into the glutes. Good, bring both knees in. Arms come forward, stacked, and open up that top and stretch out that chest into the back. Relax your head and neck. Breathe. Good, bring it back. Coming down to your stomach, we gotta do our other leg now for a little modified scorpion. Arms out to the sides, left leg up, bend it, and then try to bring it back on the other side of that leg. Relax your head and neck. You're just trying to reach with that toe as far out and up as you can.
Good, bring it back to lying down. Palms down on the ground, and let's sit back in a child's pose. So toes together, knees apart. Push those hips back. Reach for that object in front of you. One big inhale. And exhale. Turn your palms so they're facing up, still in our child's pose, but allow your head and neck to kind of sink down even lower. Good, deep inhale. And exhale. And whenever you're ready, you can come on out of that. And that was our stretch break. That was 10 minutes, can you believe it? <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> awesome job, everybody. Um, I will send out the link for this video. I'll get it uploaded to YouTube. This was a great stretch to do first thing in the morning, after a workout, before you go to bed, after you've been sitting all day. Really good stretch. Um, as the weeks go on, I'm going to do everything a little bit different. So there's going to be one week where I'm going to focus more on a yoga stretch break. There's going to be one where it's a lot more upper body. Today was kind of a lot bigger, more focus on lower body. And then another just kind of full body, a little bit more dynamic. So we'll get up and move a little bit more too. We'll stretch, but we're going to move a little bit too, okay? Everyone have a really good day. And I hope everybody next week, okay? Thanks. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Bye, everyone.